Hi there, I'm Graham Lewis and in this short video I'm going to show you how to solve an equation like sine x equals root 3 over 2 on say an interval from 0 to 4 pi using the method of general solutions. So finding a formula for all of the solutions across the whole domain and then putting values in to get the selected answers. So the first thing we need to talk about is we need to find the principal value. Now the principal value is the value your calculator gives you when you do sine inverse of root 3 over 2. And as we're in radians here, the principal value would be pi over 3. Just to remind you, of course, as soon as we write sine inverse down, what we're actually doing here is for the sine function, which looks like this, we're limiting the domain from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 to make it a 1 to 1 function so that it is actually invertible. So what we're actually saying is we're, as soon as we write sine inverse down, the calculator as well does exactly the same. The answer is going to be from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, and that's the principal value. Now, once we've got the principal value, we can find the secondary value. Now, the secondary value for sine is always pi minus the principal value, because here's the principal value, pi over 3, and the secondary value we can see is 2 pi over 3, there it is, because it's pi minus pi over 3, giving us 2 pi over 3. You can also think about that on the unit circle. Here's our principal value. Remember, sine is the height on the unit circle, so I've got a height there of root 3 over 2. That's root 3 over 2, a height of root 3 over 2. There's pi over 3, there's our principal value, and clearly the other place we have a height of, uh, of root 3 over 2 is at 2 pi over 3, right there, 2 pi over 3. So there's two different ways we can think about getting uh, the principal value and the secondary value there. So once we've got our principal value and secondary value, we can then generate all the other answers. Because of course what we have here, we've got sine x going on and on and on, and we're interested in where the y values are root 3 over 2, so there, 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 and so on. Well, these values are all connected to the principal value. So there's pi over 3. To get the next one going up the roller coaster, if you like, you add 2 pi. So pi over 3 plus multiples of 2 pi. So the general solution would be x equals pi over 3 plus 2 pi n, where n is your counting integer. So an integer 0 or plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2. You can see if I put n equals 0 into that formula, it gives us our principal value of pi over 3. Putting n equals 1 gives us the answer here, which would be 2 pi plus pi over 3, and that would be um, 7 pi over 3. n equals 2 would take you to the one way over here. So we take the secondary value now, which is the one going down the roller coaster, if you like, and add two multiples of 2 pi, or subtract, going the other way as well. And that would also give you the other sets of answers. So we need both for our general solution. So we need the secondary value, 2 pi over 3, plus 2 pi n. So this here, these two formulas, are the general solution. The general solution is the formula that will generate all of the infinite solutions to sine x equals pi over 3 sorry, root 3 over 2. Now, we're interested on the interval 0 to 4 pi. So we're only interested in two periods. So there's one period and two periods. And we want to know where it's root 3 over 2. So we can see from the graph we should have four solutions. So we'll put n values in. So if I put any 0 into both equations, it gives me pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. So there's the first two solutions and put in n equals 1 into both equations gives me 7 pi over 3 into this one and n equals 1 into that one gives me um, 8 pi over 3. If I add another, if I put n equals 2 in, it's going to be outside my range of 4 pi, they'll be too big. So I've got four final answers which I'll write down, pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 7 pi over 3, and 8 pi over 3. And so that's how to use general solutions to generate answers. Now if you like this video, um, I'm going to make one as well on the cosine function and the tangent function. Thank you for watching.